Hey there, and welcome back uh, to this week's episode of 180 and 180. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, this week, I uh, wanted to continue uh, looking at things where I uh, consider those of us who consider ourselves Christians uh, think we should be maybe looking at something differently uh, than we have in the past. Uh, and this week, I wanted to look specifically at the idea of risk. Uh, risk is one of the more challenging things to go on both in life and within the Christian church right now. From a life standpoint, we all know risk and we all try to avoid risk. Uh, in fact, quite honestly, that's a big deal right now in, in so many aspects of our life. Businesses do this a lot. They spend an enormous amount of time and money and energy trying to avoid risk, trying to alleviate risk. There are uh, sections of companies that are devoted to this, risk management. And that's their whole job. Their whole job is to try and manage away risk so that there isn't any so that you don't find any risk going on whatsoever in your company. And, and although from a company standpoint, that might make a lot of sense, that might be a good idea, the truth is from a Christian standpoint, it's a really bad idea. I don't think that's what Jesus calls us to do at all. In fact, I think if Jesus uh, calls us as Christians to anything, it might in fact be a risk. It is something that we are supposed to do in just about every aspect of a walk with Jesus. There may be no uh, greater example of this uh, than, of course, when Jesus calls Peter to get out of the boat and walk on the water towards him. Peter was a smart guy. He was a fisherman. He understood water. He knew that you were only supposed to be on the water in a boat, that you actually aren't supposed to be able to walk on it, say, unless you live in Minnesota in the winter. But that's not where he was. And yet, somehow, he took the risk of getting out of the boat and walking on water and having the most incredible experience that I think any of us could ever possibly imagine. That's the reality of risk. See, risk is always portrayed as this negative thing, as this bad thing, something that you are supposed to avoid. But I think what we see from Jesus is that when we take those risks, when we really uh, risk something greatly, the rewards from that are incredible. We're able to do things that we never thought possible because we allow Jesus to call us into something risky, adventurous, and to see what happens. So if you're a Christian out there and you have been avoiding risk, that makes a lot of sense in other aspects of your life, but not here. Do something risky this week. And uh, if that means playing the game of risk, well then remember, it's always about Australia. See you next time.